Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use CapCut templates. Now you can use this on CapCut on the computer if you're using the web browser version or you can use it on the downloaded version. I'm using the downloaded version of CapCut. So once you're inside of CapCut you want to go ahead and go to templates and from here you'll be able to then search for different templates. You've got for you, memes, intro, outro, you've got for TikTok. You can also use the search bar for templates and if you go to orientation, if you want to create them just for TikTok or like reels or short form, click portrait and then it will show you all of the templates that you can edit. Now if you go ahead and hover over these it will start playing the clip and tell you how many videos you need for this template. So you want to click on use template once you've found the template that you need. So I'm going to download that template and import it into CapCut. So once you've got it into CapCut, you'll be able to see the actual clip here on your timeline. So by default, you're going to have like all of the effects and everything in CapCut, right? Now, if you scroll through to the point where you need to import media and on the timeline, you've got your photo and how long it will show. So you need to upload four pieces of media here. Now, sometimes it will say photo, sometimes it will say video. You can upload either. It doesn't really matter. So go ahead and click on the first square and you can then upload some images. So I'll just upload the YouTube logo just from my downloads. I know it doesn't really match this, but we'll just run with it, right? So you can also then resize this. So I'm just going to go ahead and crop this here and then we'll click confirm and then we'll upload one more image. I'll just upload a proper image this time of me. So we'll upload this image here. I know this doesn't really make sense with the actual reel, but we'll run with it, right? So let's play our reel now. You're still looking at your feed, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until So there you go, you would edit your photos, add them in, and then once you're happy with your video, you'll go to export and you can go ahead and export it. So that's how you can use templates in CapCut.